Vincent is my favorite expedition of the year. It's just such a, an incredible experience to go to Antarctica and then to actually climb a peak. We stage for Vincent out of Chile. We spend some time doing gear checks and then we fly down to Antarctica and then bump over to Vincent in ski planes and then make our way up the mountain from there. So we climb Vincent in the austral summer and that's the warmest part of the year, which is essentially December through January. Obviously, Antarctica is too cold most of the year to be there climbing. Typically, there are only 30 to 50 people on the mountain at the same time. And then once the season's done, after a couple months, it's done for the year. Really, there's only one commercial route on Vinson, and we all climb uh, the same way. We fly into base camp, and that um, you know approaches the mountain up kind of the, the most gradual glaciated slopes. Climbing Vinson is more about being able to take care of yourself in extreme cold temperatures and high winds. So just having experience in cold latitudes, whether it's climbing Denali or spending a lot of time outside in the cold of Canada or, or Russia, whatever it might be, that's the most important skill you need for uh, Mount Vinson. But you want to be super covered up. You want to uh, reapply that sunscreen every hour or two. And you don't want to deal with it afterwards. And that means taking care of yourself before you have a problem. Obviously being at these extreme southern latitudes where it's incredibly cold, you need the right gear. So having the triple boots, having all the down gear, face mask, um, a, a glove layering system that you're confident in and you've used before, that's incredibly important. There is some specialized gear like uh, ascenders or you know sleds for towing up the mountain that, that we'll talk about and we'll go through and, and hand off to you. Uh, on the ice, but it's a very gear intensive climb. I consider Mount Vincent to be a small Denali, so being able to carry a very heavy pack, being able to haul a sled, being able to manage yourself in the cold, those are all very important skills, but mainly it's training for carrying uh, a lot of weight. Uh, you might leave base camp on Vincent with 70, 80 pounds, and then you'll be double carrying, but to be able to carry a heavy pack and haul a heavy sled, that's most important. So it's just getting out there, carrying a pack when you're at home, getting in some big long days before embarking on the expedition. The biggest variance between teams on Vinson is really the infrastructure that you have. And you know we believe that comfortable, well-fed, well-looked-after clients climb better and are more successful. So we've spent a ton of money uh, investing in infrastructure for uh, Vincent. You'll notice when you're down there that our base camp is the most well equipped. We've got a massive base camp tent, double line. It's nice and warm in there. We've got tables and chairs. We've got flooring. We spare no expense on the food and also at the upper camps as well. We've pre-stocked these camps with uh, you know the best tents, the best food so that you're more comfortable and you can focus on your climb. Obviously the team was, was awesome. What was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be was the accommodations and the food was really great. The Antarctic environment is very susceptible to humans. It's a desert down there and it doesn't get the snowfall that say the Alaska Range and Denali get. So uh, it's absolutely crucial that we manage all our human waste and our garbage. If anything is left there, trash blows away, uh, that's gonna be there forever. So it's absolutely critical for us to take care of the environment and take out everything that we bring in. In general, the price for a Vincent expedition is the same across the board, uh, plus or minus a thousand, two thousand uh, US dollars. Uh, really, most of the costs are set costs. There's no variance there. It's the infrastructure that the flight service puts in place to get you to Antarctica. So there really isn't much of a variation in, in the cost of an expedition. Probably the warmest day I've ever had on the summit in 19 summits. I literally have my gloves off. I've never done that before. Let me show you the team on the summit. You know, the team did so well. They climbed so strong. On every one of these CTSS trips, it's like taking a, a melting pot of these really awesome people who are doing incredible things in their life, putting them all together and 
you kind of can't have a bad experience. So if you're thinking about it, I definitely recommend it. It's an amazing experience. I've climbed a number of mountains, but this, man, this is just it. You know, wherever you are on this journey, even if you're just thinking about it, it's life changing. Uh, truly a once in a lifetime expedition and something I highly recommend for anyone that can make it happen.